So guys, I am back with another Power Wielder video. And today in this video, guys, I'm going to showcase to you how you can AFK farm most of the major materials in this game. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ. And if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this isn't an exploit. It isn't a glitch. It's a simple method the game allows you to do, which can actually start doing as low as a level 5. All it requires you to have is this thing right here to set up the initial process it's called the ranch so this requires you to have wood stone and fiber to craft this thing now it is quite large don't get it twisted so you're gonna need space and what i will say is don't block spawns of other materials you may have in and around your base that other pals are farming for you so keep it out of the way i actually built mine here and it blocked a few berry bushes i didn't need them because i've got my own harvesting over there but hey so once you have your ranch down, there are certain powers that if you apply them to your power deck, if you put them at the powers at the base, they will quite frequently drop you said materials they offer. But it isn't just as simple as that. And let me explain. So if you go to your power deck, and let's say for instance, we have, let's go to the very top because I've got a couple that I'm actually using right now to get me materials. So let's say the Lambo. The Lambo, as you can see, his possible drops are wool and Lambo mutton. Now, the Lambo mutton, I'm pretty sure, only comes from when you kill these things out in the wild. But the wool, this thing will drop you. But it isn't just as simple as that, too, because there are powers in the game, like the, the Captiva, where its possible drops are red berries. Let's say the Lift Monk, its possible drops are berry seeds and low-grade medical supplies. The Fox Parks, its possible drops are leather and flame organs. But these actually will not drop these for you within that ranch, because... The powers that drop that, those possible drops need to have the farming stat. Now, if they don't have the farming stat, these possible drops will not drop for you. Now, I'm pretty sure there is a way somewhere in the game to get them to do these certain things. Now, it's possible drops. I think farming could be something they unlock down the line. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but either or, guys, when you catch them straight off the bat, much like my egg layer, my uh, chickpea, this dude will drop me eggs over. To, to be honest, it's quite frequent. Uh, so what I'll do is, for, for instance, I have my, my chickpea, I have, uh, where are you? It's like a big cow dude, I can't remember his name. We have my mazarina, this one's got the farmer stat too, drops milk. We have my, it's my bee, it's called the bee guardi, this one here's got the farming stat too, and it drops that honey. I've applied all these to my power deck my power box sorry i've put them at my powers at the base and what they will do is over time they will drop me those materials i've also got a power guys that drops me that gold quite cool and the reason i'm doing this for is because i want to craft cakes now to craft cakes you need them for breeding but you need quite a lot of materials and you'll see right here i've got actually loads now because what i've been doing is i've been well just Obviously, AFK farming, having my powers at the base just drop me these vital materials, which I can collect over time myself. Now, keep in mind, if you also have a pal, which have that gathering trait, much like say, this dude here has got so many traits. Say, for instance, this one here has got the gathering trait. You can see right there, it's a level two gathering. This dude will carry certain materials that these dudes drop to individual places, i.e. Uh, the food, if you've got a food box down it would take the food like milk, eggs and whatnot to this box right here, including honey. And if you got like berries growing and wheat growing, harvesting them, it would pick them up and drop them to said location. Now for certain foods, I would recommend two guys, much like the milk, the eggs and the wheat. Create yourself a chill box, a cooler, um, because it would just make the spoil time last way longer. And this is what I've been doing for quite a while now. Now you will need a dino that chills them, like the chili. Pretty bad as you can see he's going to do it now. There we go, you'll see the spoil time on them drastically increases, which is cool. So yeah, it really is as simple as that. All you need is that ranch. All you need is certain powers that drop individual things. So apply them to your, your power box. Make sure they're working at the base. Make sure their power's at the base. And they will slowly over time drop you said materials they can drop again but they do need that farming stat if they don't have that farming stat they won't drop you the possible drops within your ranch so it's pretty cool and i've also guys which you may have just seen i've got a pal this dude right here who drops me gold 
who drops me gold and will collect me that gold over time. And I'm pretty sure as well. You see my daydream then was just, wait, well, I don't know what he's doing now, but he collects things for me. I'm pretty sure he collects my gold for me. And it auto applies to my overall stack of gold. So that's pretty cool. Now this little dude here, this, this Mao, 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 whatever it is. The weird thing about this dude is, I don't know where I got him from. I think I might have got him from a dungeon. But he drops that gold. Now, if you look at the power deck, normally when you capture any tame, uh, so as for instance, if you click on this one, if you go to its habitat, it'll tell you where they spawn night and day. But that little dude doesn't... Now, let me see if I can find where he is. I think he's a little higher up. You'll see that this dude doesn't have a location of where he spawns in. Now, I'm pretty sure this is because he's an exclusive to a dungeon. Yeah, that's not him there. Let me have a look at this dude, though. Hang. See, this guy drops sapphires, which is... Again, let me have a look at you. Where's your habitat? See, you got a habitat. You're pretty cool. I can go and get you whenever I want. But this dude here, this dude has no habitat. Night or day. So like I said, I'm pretty sure this guy is exclusive to that dungeon, which I need to go ahead and find. And to get more of these, I want to see how much gold I can make AFK. And it drops me in between like 2 and 10 every single time. So yeah, keep that in mind too. But yeah guys, it really is as simple as that. Create yourself a ranch, which you unlock at a like a level 5. Put this thing down, go out into the open world, experiment with certain tames, certain pals. If they have that trait on them with farming, that means there then they will drop you that individual material that they have again. Like this one here, because he's got the farming stat, it will drop me that milk. Um, this one right here will drop me that cotton candy. Doesn't drop me the high quality power oil. I think you get that from killing it, but it drops in that cotton candy, unless that's an upgrade, which you get it to like a level two, maybe. I don't know. Uh, this one right here will drop me horns, I believe. Haven't put you out yet. Um, so, yeah, this one here will drop me that wool. I thought it would drop me leather. I got this thing thinking it would drop me leather. It doesn't. Just that wool. Again, it could be part of the upgrade on it with a level two farm. It may uh, drop both of them, which would be cool. But yeah, and again, it needs that farming trait if you don't have that farming trait those possible drops will not they will not drop for you within your ranch which is cool but that's what you need to know people and again they need to be applied to your pal uh box to drop for them them for you while you're afk if you just want to stand there guys and just wait for materials you want to go out into the open world do what you got to do when you come back you'll have said materials waiting for you or they just transport them to random boxes, which can be a bit of a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I've got all kinds of materials in here. I mean, I just come here, drop them in just like so, put them all in. But you'll notice that then when they do it, now these are the ones that I've organized myself. See the honey. What's that honey doing in there? No idea. But you'll notice as well. I got a few storage boxes over here where I'm keeping my eggs. And you'll see. Like they just randomly put things in, which is fine because at the end of the day, when it comes to building stuff, um, it doesn't matter what box they're in, as long as they're in the vicinity of your pal. Look at look him, little bastard. Yeah, but uh, as long as you're in the vicinity of your pal box, when it comes to crafting on any of your workbenches, it will uh, pick up on anything within that vicinity of that pal box, no matter what storage container or box it's in. So yeah, keep that in mind, guys. But yes, people. That is how you AFK farm. That's all you need to know about the ranch. And again, go out into the open world experiment. If you need a certain material for a certain thing you need to craft, you can go out and find that certain said pal, which will drop you that thing. It makes life way, way easier. And there we have it, guys. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like. It really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.